Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I'm packing for a long trip. As you can see, I have a pretty small RV here and I'm going for a full month from Wisconsin out to uh, Montana to see Glacier National Park and then on the way back. And the question is, what do I bring? There's a lot of stuff to think about and in this video I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Every camper is configured a bit differently and in my 2019 Tab 400 by New Camp I have a closet for storing clothing, not drawers. So what I found most effective is to use the rod to hang warm things like flannels, rain gear, and puffers. Double up on your hangers, you'll see some jeans in there as well, two pair a piece for the entire trip. For other things we use totes. This closet will fit two totes side by side and we stack them three high so we can still get into the shelves. That's three totes for me and three for Pam. More or less the totes are split as follows. Underwear and socks, t-shirts and shorts, sweats and long sleeve t-shirts. The shelves are just stuffed with non-perishable food items, rice, oatmeal, cooking sauces, coffee, that sort of thing. Also have a laundry bag in there, you're going to need that because you're definitely going to have to do laundry. Alright, so here's the bathroom. What we have up here, store a couple of towels up there. We also have towels in a little tote down there along with some wipes. These are just basic toiletries, shampoo, drugs for us old people, suntan lotion, a little shaver, that sort of thing. Down here is a wag bag. I don't Go number two in my toilet. I always use a wag bag. I find it to be more sanitary. And also I've got a garbage can as well that kind of floats around in there. All around the camp are various cubbies. So here we have a first aid kit. I've got some winter clothing just in case it gets cold. We're going up in the mountains. And muffins here, what's that? Oh, that's a tourniquet in case somebody gets hurt. Some electrical stuff in here. Here I got a little storage. There's really not anything in there. There's a couple of pair of shoes, that sort of thing. Here in this, we got we have our breads. I've got my measuring cups. I've got some oil. Here's how the refrigerator is packed. Now we made a decision that we are not taking a bunch of food. Certainly not for a month. So I do have some frozen chicken breasts and some steaks up there, but just your basic eggs some veggies back there. We like euros so we can make euros on the black stone right there. Cheeses and meats down here and of course just a few things in the doorway. The little drawer below the refrigerator holds condiment sort of things like creamers and mustard, spaghetti sauce, some pancake mix, soups. Not a lot for a month and quite frankly we didn't even use it. The only thing I really store down here are backpacks. Those are filled with water so that I know at least the first uh, water that we get is fresh from my house and we'll use that first. You guys like Tetris? Well, packing a truck is similar to that game. The little yellow thing you see in the back there is a 2500 watt generator. The tote with the yellow top is outdoor cooking supplies for the Blackstone. The green thing is my carpet. The tote on the right is all of my tools, and I have a different video about tools that I take. I'll link to that below. So other things I carry are a brush to clean off the solar panel, a drill in that little blue tote, five gallon water jug gas for the generator, or another tool kit, and finally the Blackstone grill for cooking. So the back of the truck is packed pretty full. What you have here is Starlink. Pam needs to work while on the road, so we've got a Starlink here. Uh, down here is a cooler, which we still have to fill yet. Here's one large tote of cold weather clothes, computer, some shoes back there, and on the other side, believe it or not, is another uh, computer and a printer, which apparently Pam needs because she needs to print stuff out while we're on the road so she can read it uh, more carefully. So that's it. That's how we pack. The bottom line is don't take as much as you think you need. You can always buy stuff. Uh, food in particular, don't overpack the clothes. So I'm going for a month. I have like three pair of shorts, two pair of jeans, uh, sweatshirt, uh, one long sleeve shirt, bunch of t-shirts, four or five days worth of underwear. That's about it because you're going to do laundry. You're never going to last a month out here, especially in a small camper. So that's it, folks. I hope this was helpful. 
and uh, we'll see you in the next one.